I am pleased to be able to welcome you to this WebEx on professionalizing manual drilling. Manual drilling is not new, but the approach that will be presented today is a significant departure from what we have been doing for the past 30 years. We will discuss how manual drilling can be moved into the mainstream as a way to help us to reach the MDGs. This can happen by building the capacity of the local private sector so that they can respond to the need for high quality drinking water wells. Enterprise Works and Practica have been working with UNICEF in Niger, Senegal, DRC, and Chad. They have been working together with UNICEF since 2000 to promote drinking water wells. And before that, they have many years of experience promoting manual drilling for both irrigation and water supply. I will introduce the partners that have been working closely with UNICEF, present the reasons why manual drilling should be added to our tools for increasing potable water supply in rural areas, and I will give a brief overview of the tools that are available to UNICEF country offices to help you to promote manual drilling. Practica Foundation, a Dutch NGO that facilitates research, development, and commercial application of technology. Practica provides training in drilling techniques and hydrogeology to support the emergence of professional manual drilling enterprises. Practica supplements this training through the publication of training manuals. Enterprise Works Vita, a division of Relief International, is a U.S.-based NGO that has been promoting the transfer of technology through the private sector for more than 40 years. EWV works with donors and private businesses to develop technologies, create brands, and promote products that change lives. You may recognize some of the brands that have been promoted over the years in your country. EWV provides technical and business training and ongoing support to businesses and users to ensure that technology is successfully transferred. EWV staff have been promoting manual drilling since 1989. UNICEF works in more than 90 countries around the world to improve water supplies and sanitation facilities in schools and communities and to promote safe hygiene practices. UNICEF sponsors a wide range of activities and works with many partners, including families, communities, governments, and like-minded organizations. In emergencies, UNICEF provides urgent relief to communities and nations threatened by disrupted water supplies and disease. All UNICEF WASH programs are designed to contribute to the Millennium Development Goal for Water and Sanitation, to have, by 2015, the proportion of people without sustainable access to safe water and basic sanitation. The next few slides will look at why UNICEF is excited about promoting professional manual drilling. We are facing a problem that is simply not getting better. Increasing populations strip away gains made with more safe water points. Many countries in Africa are not on track to meet the MDGs for water supply. We need to think of new ways to reach the millions of unserved people in Africa. Manual drilling is four to ten times less expensive than machine drilling in Africa. This means that in areas where it is feasible, that four to ten times as many wells can be drilled for the same funding level. Large rigs require huge investments, and most of the profits go to foreign companies. They cannot access remote sites, especially in the rainy season, so remote villages remain unserved. The lightweight tools make access to remote villages possible, even in the rainy season, and they can even be transported on ox carts or headload where there are no roads. The tools for manual drilling can be made in local welding shops using locally available materials. This means that there's not a long supply chain for spare parts, and the downtime is reduced to almost zero. By substituting labor for capital, employment is created, and some of the labor can come from the village itself. At UNICEF, we want to improve the standard of living for people that we work with, and we can do this by creating opportunities for employment. In an emergency, it is not necessary to mobilize large rigs and supporting vehicles, which may take months. Manual drillers can respond in weeks or even days. In a 2010 publication, the United Nations Development Group Task Force on the MDGs recognized manual drilling as a way to increase access to infrastructure and services for potable water. It was one of the 34 good practice cases presented that contribute to MDG 7 achievement. In order to help country offices to become involved in this exciting initiative, UNICEF with Practica Foundation and Enterprise Works Vita have developed materials to promote the professionalization of manual drilling including mapping the potential for manual drilling in 12 countries in Africa, 
five technical notes, each two pages long, providing a summary of the activities needed to professionalize the manual drilling sector. Two case studies covering the professionalization of manual drilling in Niger and Chad. Three videos presenting the aspects of the professionalization of manual drilling for different audiences. Three manuals covering the professionalization of the sector, including the methodology, business management, and financing options. And five technical manuals comprising hydrogeology and four manuals on the manual drilling techniques. These materials will be available in September on the UNICEF website and in print and on DVD. We will next show a short promotional video on manual drilling. Then, John Noggle will discuss creating a professional manual drilling sector, which is a capacity building program targeting the private sector, not simply a well drilling project. Fabio Fusi will discuss mapping the potential for manual drilling, including a summary of the methodology, presentation of sample results, and how the maps can be used to identify areas for more in-depth investigations. Arjen van der Waal will present manual drilling options and will compare manual drilling to other methods, discuss techniques for particular applications, and the use and limitations of the manuals.